We don't have to love it, but we do have to do it. Some of you might be old enough to remember the old Dark Winter exercise when the feds tried to simulate what something like this would look like. Turns out they predicted this shit show pretty accurately. That's what got Directive 51 written in the first place. Now we get to live with it. Hey bro, it's me. Sorry I couldn't pick up. I was hanging out with that girl I told you about. Vanessa. And yes, when I say hanging out, I mean exactly what you think. That's all you get. A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. Anyway, thought I'd check in, see how my nephews are doing. Mom keeps leaving voice messages asking me when I'm coming home for the weekend. Can you please explain to her that busy college students have to spend weekends studying? She might actually buy it coming from you. Gotta run to class. Call me back. Later. Uh, hey Danny, it's it's me. Um, well, uh, you probably heard about what's going on. They're still saying flu, but I don't know. I took Vanessa into the ER again last night. It was bad. She had a fever of 103. She was hallucinating and, well, yeah. They kept her in this time. I I'm not family, so they won't tell me anything. I don't think they know anything anyway. But I'm still fine. Make sure you tell Mom but it's getting weird. So many people are getting sick, the hospitals can't handle it. And they're setting up clinics in the parks and shit. It's fucked up. I'll try you later. Hey, big brother. It's Joel. I, uh... Vanessa died. That's gotta be the most fucked up thing I ever said. A month ago, we were sexting and comp lit this morning. They, they wouldn't let me see her. I told them her family's in Hong Kong. They know the airports are shut down. Jesus, this all happened so fast. I don't know where she is, Danny. I don't know what they did with her. Her... Um... University cancel classes. Bridges, tunnels, everything's closed. I'm stuck here. Tell Mom I'm fine. I'm not, but I... I'm not sick, at least. Call me. Please. Active echo beacon detected.
this out, man. We need us a real battle royale. With knives and maces and shit. Like gladiators. Yeah, I love to watch them rip each other to pieces. How about cops versus judges? <laughs> Tell them we'll let the winner go. Whoever kills the most pigs is the pig that gets to go free. Cops versus prison guards, maybe? Then when he's done killing his friends, we just lock him up again. Save him for another round. Keep him for the full season, you know what I mean? Like a fighting dog. Cops versus parole officers. Now you talking. Where does this Directive 51 thing leave us? Doing our damn jobs. You're still gonna be on the streets. You're gonna be helping people. You're gonna be doing the same thing you've been doing. In the op centers, people like me will be playing advisory roles. We're gonna fall under the vision authority, but if that's what it takes... Look, we've been through this before. 9-11. Sandy. Fed stepped in because we needed him. Things get bad enough, that's what happens. I'm not recognizing this signal. That the first wave agents destroyed. Hey, Boo. I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you in person. I don't know what they tell you in there, but things out here are going freaking nuts. Lots of people are sick some kind of flu or something, but lots of people are dying. It's scary, Boo. I miss you so bad right now. God, I wish I could talk to you. Please don't be mad at me, baby. I just want to keep Daniela inside until this blows over. You know she's so fragile. I'm so worried about her baby. I'll die if something happens to her. Or happens to you. Please take care of yourself, baby. I'm really sorry. Don't be mad at me. I really hope you're okay. And I hope that I'll see you someday. Okay. Bye. For God's sake, let him go. He didn't... Hey, Dano, it's me. I know, I know, but things got a little hectic. My social essay took longer than expected, and then Vanessa got sick, and, you know, I wanted to bring her chicken soup, stream Gosling movies with her and stuff, be the doting boyfriend. 
You gotta get into the city and meet her sometime soon, man. But not this week. She's still sick as a dog and a thing seems to be going around. Wouldn't want you taking a bug home to the boys. Anyway, tell mom I'm sorry. And I promise to get out to PA for the holidays, okay? You're the best. Later. I'm not recognizing this signal. That's a first wave agent's distress beacon. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Bliss, this is Arthur Tran from Polliner New and Creative Associates. First, let me say what a pleasure it is to be working for a company like yours and with someone like you, so devoted to keeping our great country safe. I've sent you the storyboards for the proposal for your firm, which we're calling Island Thunder. It starts with a flyover by a wing of attack helicopters, all firing full blast. Behind them, there's a massive explosion, followed by a pan down to where we see one soldier in your company's uniform taking out a dozen enemies with a massive machine gun. Tasteful heavy metal, and a voiceover that emphasizes the sorts of awesome adventures your men have been on on a day-to-day -day basis. Tell me what you think. I'm not recognizing this signal. That's a first wave agent's distress beacon. But right now, worrying about what happens when we beat this thing is pissing into the wind. We gotta beat it first. And we're gonna need these division types help to do it. So, the first wave of agents has been activated, and I know some of you have seen them in the field. How many are coming? I got no idea. How many waves? Same thing. As many as they got, I hope. But it's not up to me. You are encouraged to talk to them, get to know them, and most of all, find a way to work with them. Build a relationship. They may be feds, but they're also New Yorkers. We're all in this together. I'm not recognizing this signal. That's the first wave agent. Gonna fucking take this shit till all those cops are dead. 